Hi there, my name's Simon, I'm from Beacon School Support and I'm here today to talk about what is a behaviour audit? Well, the answer is simple. Our audit tells you exactly where your school stands in terms of behaviour right now and it gives you a clear path about where to take behaviour management in your school next. Think about it as an MOT for behaviour in your school. So what do you get? At the end of the audit, you'll have a comprehensive body of evidence about what your school does well and where there is room for improvement. Because we're outsiders, the evidence we collect is unbiased. That means you can use our findings to inform where to lead your school to next. Your decisions will be based on real data, not just the gut feelings of your leadership team. It strengthens your evidence-based practice. But that's not all. Our behaviour audit isn't focused on finding problems. Ofsted have cornered the market on that one. It's about identifying solutions and next steps. So we provide a written report that contains recommendations about where to take your school next. And we give you a feedback session with one of our specialists to explain in person what we found and the detail about our recommendations for the future. How does it work? Well, the audit is split into three parts. Part one, we provide you with access to an online survey. We ask the key stakeholders in your school a range of questions about behavior. We question parents, children, governors, teachers and your leadership team about what they think about different aspects of behaviour and then we give you a detailed breakdown about how each group replied to the questions. And by the way, we take great care with how we phrase the questions for your students, parents and governors so the language is clear and understandable. The children's and parents surveys especially are short and to the point to encourage participation. Then we carry out a comparative analysis. That means we compare what different groups believe about your school compared to the leadership team. And why is this important? Because when different people think different things about the same aspect of your school, something is going wrong. Let me give you an example. In one school we worked at, we asked each group what they felt about the following statement. Bullying is well managed by the school. The leadership team and the teachers both strongly agreed that bullying was well managed. And you know what? When we visited the school, that's what we found as well. But then we looked at the rest of the data and we saw something interesting. When asked the same question, the parents, children and governors didn't know. It wasn't that they thought that there was a problem with bullying, they just didn't know one way or the other. Now, that's a problem because when Ofsted come calling and ask these groups about bullying, opinion will be divided and that raises a red flag. Why do different people have different opinions about the same thing. We call this alignment. So not only do we report on what each group said, we also give an easy to read analysis of how well aligned people's views are about the school. To help, we use a traffic light system. Green means everyone broadly agrees. Amber means there may be an issue and red indicates that this issue is a priority and needs to be dealt with now. So that's the online questionnaire. Part two is an on-site visit to your school grounds. Having seen the results of your survey and having read through your behavior policies, we visit the school to see how well policy is put into practice. We sit in a range of classrooms and watch how adults interact with pupils. We talk to your special needs coordinator about how the policy is implemented and formulated. We interview groups of students about their experience of the school. 
and we observe behavior in corridors, in assemblies, and out on the playground. Next, we take away all of that information, combine it with the survey, and analyze the results. Part three, we return to your school with all of the evidence we have collected and present a summary report. We talk through our findings in person, explaining what we saw and our recommendations for how to address these issues. Because although it's important we leave a snapshot about how the school manages behavior now, it's more important that we leave a roadmap for the future, how to make things even better. So that's our behavior audit, a top to toe investigation of behavior at your school which gives you unbiased evidence to inform your future decision making and a set of action points that will lead to improvement. If you would like us to carry out a behaviour audit at your school or you have any questions at all, get in touch with us through the website. You can find our details on the contact page. My name's Simon, I'm from Beacon School Support and thanks for listening.